Now let's take a look at the basics of networking. Why? This is very important to understand the cloud architecture. Let's just say that I need to build a new neighborhood. What will I do? First, I will create a street. Let me call it as street. Then I build new homes in that street. Now, in order to properly address each homes, I will assign them a door number like this one, two, three, four. Okay, so if the person in house one would like to send a mail to uh, the person in house five, then they would need to address their mail to number five. Then the mail would reach here. Or if they need to reach house number four, then they would need to address their mail to number four. They don't need to specify any other information such as street name because there is only one street by default and the communication is expected to happen within that street as of now. Now let's mimic this in the computer world. The name street which is just a name would become the network name. The physical components such as the road, gravel, concrete beneath the road would become the hub and cables and other network components involved. And the houses would become computers. Let me illustrate it. I will connect the computers to any free port in the hub. If you notice, I'm not connecting them in an order. Right? Computer 1 goes to first port and computer 3 goes to fifth port. The reason that I'm not connecting them in an order means that the location of the port in the hub doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm going to assign the door number on each computer. In the real world, these houses get their door number assigned based on where they are located. So there is an order in that. You wouldn't expect to have a door number system like this where the door number is not in order in the real world. But in the computer world, I do not want to depend on the position of the ports. What if someone mistakenly connects the uh, fourth computer in third port. I don't want wrong information go to the wrong computer. So I will assign the door numbers to the computers directly. So no matter where this computer 8 connected to whatever port, this computer will remain as 8. Wait, door number. What's the door number in the computer world? An IP address can be thought of as a door number in the real world example. Now let's see how it works in the subsequent videos. Thank you.